Welcome to another Anchor Point research presentation. The research team here at Anchor Point are dedicated to producing high quality research that will support family members after acquired brain injury. I'm Jill. Um, I carried out my dissertation last year on family members um, and their experience of acquired brain injury. So you'll see that um, the title was The Importance of Family Bonds, Exploring the Impact of ABI on Family Dynamics and Their Journey Through Counselling. So the aim of my research was that I wanted to, it was twofold, I wanted to investigate the impact of ABI on family members within their own dynamics, but also I wanted to understand what experiencing of counselling that the family members had actually had themselves as well. So why this research project for me? Um, so I've taken quite a big personal interest in ABI. Um, when I started my training as a counsellor, which was a little bit later on in life, I was given this wonderful opportunity by my supervisor to be able to be a part of um, Headway North Staffordshire as one of my placements. So I attended Headway because they were giving some funding to help with the counselling service, um, but they'd never had counselling within that Headway before. So it was actually a wonderful opportunity to be able to develop the service within Headway. The service was initially for people who had an acquired brain injury, but then we started to get people coming in who were saying, you know, we're family members, we're struggling a bit at the moment, is it possible if we can access the counselling service as well? And we said, you know, of course, why not? Come along, come and join, and um, we'd like to support you as much as we can. And it was from then, it kind of highlighted to me, gosh, the acquired brain injury is affecting so many people, not only the person with the acquired brain injury, but the people around them. And I thought I'd really like to find out a little bit more about this. So that's where my idea for the research project came from. So I'll only go briefly through this slide because we're all in this group. So we know what an acquired brain injury is. Um, so obviously, um, an injury to the brain that has occurred at some point after birth, um, causes can be grouped into three general categories. So traumatic brain injury, vascular causes and other causes of injury. Now, my area that obviously I'm interested in as well is obviously the psychological effects that acquired brain injury can have. Um, obviously, this depends on the type of ABI that the person has had and also depending upon the individual themselves. But obviously, things to be mindful of include work, social and family changes, behavioural and emotional changes, as well as cognitive impairment. So these psychological effects of ABI have been researched quite a lot already which can be seen within the literature when I did my literature review search. So throughout the literature, the importance of family member involvement in the recovery process was highlighted. However, there was far less UK based research on family member experience of ABI and limited UK based research on family member subjective experience of counselling even though obviously ABI is a life changing event. So I found that there was a massive gap in the literature. What about the family? What about the family member experience of ABI? So I decided to carry out an IPA analysis. So lots of qualitative data just to find out what family members experience was of ABI and their experience of counselling. So I carried out a number of interviews, but it didn't come easy. It was very difficult, actually. I had lots of difficulties recruiting for the study. I soon found out that perhaps 
people weren't as enthusiastic about ABI as what I was. The knowledge that I wanted to find out. I struggled to recruit. <laughs> I advertised everywhere. I was pulling my hair out. I was going back to my supervisor saying, I'm doing the right thing. I'm struggling. I'm not sure how I'm going to carry on going through with this. I'm struggling with people coming forward. But then that kind of got me thinking, is it because perhaps family members haven't actually received any counselling to be able to give out that knowledge? And this carried on for a while. And then eventually I managed to recruit four participants. So was really, really lucky. I had four participants that came forward. I had one male. Um, this male, his wife had had a TBI. And then three females, a lady who, whose husband had had a TBI. The second lady um, was a mother whose daughter had had a malignant brain tumour. And thirdly, a lady whose mother had a TBI followed by two strokes. So it was really quite a vast amount of knowledge and experience that these people had gone through. So what did I do with this? So then my Blue Peter moment came where I managed to get all of my moment, all of my information together. I got my scissors out. I got my glue out. I was there sticking everywhere, trying to find different themes following the IPA process. So the kitchen table was covered. Everybody, everybody at home was told, do not touch mum's work. It may look a mess, but it is organised. I know where things are. I need to find these themes. You need to go and have your tea on your knee tonight because mum just needs these laid out. So uh, there's an example on the screen of step four. So this is where I was looking for connections across the experimental statements. So I'd interviewed these participants and I was trying to find if there was any connections in what they were saying. And another example there it was step five. And this was where I was naming the personal experiential themes and trying to consolidate them and organise them to try and make sense. So it was quite a stressful time trying to find these different things, um, but it led to findings. So it may look a little bit complicated on the screen um, and a little bit small, but I'll be able to summarise it for you. So obviously I had two aims at the start of the research and the results came out in that way. So two parts to the findings. Part one. ABI experience and part two, um, the family members experience of the counselling, which often overlapped. So the part one of the results, it reflects the other literature that I had already found in the field. So family members of people with ABI are hugely impacted by the effects of ABI, as well as the person themselves. The participants in the research expressed as family members how much of a life changing event ABI is, especially within the family dynamic where expectations are often present. So a carer role was dominating and it was noted that ABI brings an uncertainty about the future, but an underlying sense of hope was there. So participants were mentioning things of such as battling and fighting, this fighting for support for their loved ones. So needing to take control and to advocate for that family member and to speak for them and to get the help and support that they needed and how just within a blink of an eye, your life can change just like that. And then part two which was very interested in terms of family members' experience of counselling. So the research highlighted that participants experienced some positive experience of counselling, which included being given a voice as a family member and experience of a form of validation. They were being heard. I am here. I am a family member. I'm important. I deserve a voice as well. 
However, unfortunately, negative experiences came through as well, where very much people were recognising a lack of ABI understanding from the counsellor and having to wait to receive the much needed counselling that they required as family members. Family members spoke of frustrations at times of having to edu educate the counsellor, you know, what a brain injury is and the effects that it can cause, especially on the family dynamic. I even had one interview with um, one of the participants where they spoke of having a couple counselling session with her and her partner in there. And she spoke very much of an imbalance within that therapeutic relationship. So the counsellor had come into the session and was very much more towards the person with the ABI than the family member, as though they were taking sides and there wasn't that balance within that relationship and they were not being heard as a family member. So there was really, really important things that were coming out within these interviews and quite worrying and upsetting things actually as well about the experiences that some of these family members have faced. So what does this mean now? So the implications to practice and, and the future research following the research that I'd carried out. So the research has added to the literature on family member experiences of ABI, highlighting the significance of the impact of family members themselves and within their family dynamics. The research has begun to focus on family members' experience of counselling, which to date there is only a small amount of research available on this area. The findings have suggested that as well as positive experiences of counselling, participants also experienced negative experiences, which has led to recommendations on involving family member counselling moving forward. Therefore, practitioners such as myself can use this research to be able to develop their own counselling practice when working with family members. But I feel as though that in order to continue with this important research, more investigation is needed on ABI family member experiences of counselling. And I think it would be interesting to expand it to look at couple and family counselling as well as one-to-one -one counselling. Because the, the findings suggest that not all types of counselling fit every family dynamic. And more research on this area would provide insight as to why this is the case. As a more joined up approach to brain injury has been identified by carrying out more research, hopefully more brain injury services will come together to support family members of ABI, as well as the person with ABI themselves. And then I've just got a list of references there that I've used within the presentation.